Well, back here on Sports Report, Saturday, you know, a good time to kick back, settle in on the couch. We've got four spring games right here on the Pac-12 Network. The action gets underway bright and early. 10 a.m. Pacific time, Arizona State, the Sun Devils next on tap for us. Yeah, looking forward to that. It'll be a little bit of an unusual oh, yeah. setup this year with renovations still ongoing at Sun Devil Stadium. The spring game will actually be held at ASU's practice yes. facility. So for more insight on the Devils, let's welcome in their star defensive tackle, yes. Tayshawn Smallwood. Great to see you, Tayshawn. Uh, because Greetings. of all of the renovations, there's been some limited access for not only the media, but for the fans as well this spring. So can you give us an insight as to how spring ball has been going in Tempe? Um, spring ball has honestly been going well. Um, just seeing my teammates and compete and our, the quarterbacks competing has been great. You know, Todd Graham, he joked a few weeks ago, he said it shouldn't be too hard when asked about some of the defensive rankings to improve on what you guys did last year. So sell me on why this year will be better for your unit as a whole on the defense. Um, on the defense, we just need to we just need to stay fundamentally sound, you know what I mean, get better in that area, you know what I mean? And, uh, as a as a front, a defensive line, we just we, we improved tremendously throughout the year, and uh, we just you know need to continue to get better. We got some new guys coming in, we had some guys leave, and um, that's for everybody. Linebackers in the secondary, we just all just stay fundamentally fundamentally sound, and just stay consistent with that, and we'll be fine. You now I remember being on campus back in August, and Demario Richard, Kay and Balaj were both on set with us, and I said, "Hey, who's the best tandem in coming out of the backfield in the Pac-12 conference?" And they had no qualms in saying, "We're the best in the Pac-12." So I'll ask you about <laughs> defensive line, JoJo Wicker, and you guys, and you specifically. Interior, is there a better tandem right now in the league? No, they're 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 some great backs. You know, what I mean, play against them every day at practice, and they're they're competitors. They run hard down here, runners with great speed and. I haven't seen anything like it. I definitely haven't practiced against anyone like them. They're great backs. I'm excited to see what they're going to do this year. All right, so you gave love to the running backs, but I'm asking about you and JoJo Wicker on the defensive line. Are you guys <laughs> the best tandem? Um, well, that's definitely what we're working to be. You know what I mean? Uh, our expectations is higher, uh, real high, to be the best in the nation. You know what I mean? And for me to say that we're the best, and it's not for me to say that, uh, it's just – We'll just go out there, compete, work to get better each and every day, and then you guys can tell us later. <laughs> you, you notice he had no problem throwing the yeah, throwing his teammates know, that under the bus good. saying that they're the best. I yeah, like that. I, I like, like that. That's good. Humble. <laughs> somebody, somebody taught you well over there. Uh, let's talk about the offensive line. You live with actually three of the old linemen, so I know that you have uh, an extra sort of insight into how that unit is shaping up. Only one starter back up front on offense. How is that unit coming together? Uh, it's been coming well. I actually live with a uh, uh, Connor Humphreys, uh, Sam Jones, and Quinn Bailey, and uh, two of the guys. One of Sam, Quinn Bailey is our starting right tackle, and uh, Sam Jones is our starting uh, right guard, and, and Connor is working uh, for a starting spot. And they've been doing great. The improvement has been great. You know what I mean? They come out there and compete with us every day, and they definitely been showing great areas and improvement in every area. Who's cleaner, the offensive line <laughs> or the defensive line? Oh, definitely the D-line. <laughs> definitely. I, I, that I, I do like to hear, especially because, you know, when you live with those offensive guys, you know, you they can be slobs. Yeah. You, you don't even have that. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, and I know Ashley would agree with this, Todd Graham is one of our favorite coaches to speak with because he's brutally honest. If it's a big game, he doesn't, you know, sort of skirt the line there and straddle the fence. He says, hey, it is going to be a big game. So I, I'm going to ask you, with, with so many changes that we've seen with regard to the coaching staff, Todd Graham a year ago would say that the expectation was to win a Pac-12 championship. That didn't happen. I think it was an off year. I think most would, would agree with that assessment. So what are the realistic expectations this season with so many losses, not only in the coaching ranks, but also with some of those skill position players? Uh, I mean, for start off for us as a team, we definitely we're looking to win a Pac-12 championship and a national championship. That's our goal. You know what I mean? And that's the expectation he holds us to as individual players, as position groups, as offense and as a defense. So for me personally, I just feel like there's nothing holding us, holding us back from doing that. All the changes, all the new coaches and the little changes of the offense is just improvements to us. And uh, it's going to be great for us. I'm excited to see how it's going to go this year. We know Todd Graham is going to have everybody ready by the time fall oh, rolls yes. around. All right, Tayshawn, before we let you go, let's have some fun. We found um, some video of you on Twitter that I, I'd like to, you're already laughing, that I'd like to roll in. Can you take What is going what's on here? here? <laughs> <laughs> this is excellent. <laughs> what, you got uh, moves. Is this like a dance party that's like a, a ritual in the house? What, what's, what was going on there? Oh, man. So I think uh, it was like a Saturday night, and um, some friends from church invited me over, and I come in. I actually come in just to get my backpack, but they were playing a board game, and uh, I picked up one of the cards, and one of the things was a salsa dance. 
for a minute. <laughs> I don't really know. I didn't really know how to sauce it. I still I don't. So I just it. did. I, I just did what it. I knew. I'm actually glad that you recognize that that is not salsa dancing. <laughs> That's like borderline. Are you twerking? I belly That's dancing. Belly dancing. I don't belly think dancing. It's, more of a belly it's dance. no. It's belly dancing meets twerking. You have now start. You're going to start like a new craze here around the country. That's funny. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Um, I, I can't believe you guys found that. Uh, Nothing is safe. Yeah. I just just make sure that Ty Graham's not seeing that video because something tells me that might come back to haunt you. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, definitely see it now. Ty Graham is a great dancer, by the way. I, really? Yes. His his wife. He and his wife. They go way back. She says that he that was the way that they met. She said he was a phenomenal dancer. So. Todd Graham belly dancing next That's time on Sports Report. Things that you learn on Sports Report. I was unaware. So, <laughs> congratulations, by the way, on some great campaigns that you've already had. Nothing but the best of luck this upcoming season. Thanks so much for stopping by with us and continue this offseason to work on the belly dancing meets twerking, okay? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one.